Hey everyone, welcome to Area 616. Marvel Studios famously has an almost spotless casting record. To this day, you're not really going to find any miscast main characters. Everyone is pretty much perfect for the role. As far as Sony and Fox go, they have a bit more of a mixed bag, but Fox is responsible for two of some of the best castings ever, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, and Sony did a top-notch job casting many of the Spider-Man movies, especially with the villains. Except Topher Grace as Venom. We don't talk about that. But who are some of the actors who are just perfect for a Marvel character? Today I'm going to go over six casting I'd love to see Marvel make. And before we get started, be warned, this does contain some spoilers for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, though I'm pretty sure everybody's seen it at this point. But let's get started. 6. Norman Reedus as Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider has already come to the MCU as Robbie Reyes, played by Gabriel Luna, but he's not the main Ghost Rider of the comics. That would have to be Johnny Blaze, aka a motorcycle riding stuntman who sold his soul to the devil in return for his father's health. In the Ghost Rider movies, he was played by Nicolas Cage, though that was an absolutely terrible choice. So who should play him in the MCU if he reappears? In my opinion, it should be none other than the Norman Reedus, who's famous for playing Daryl, the tough motorcycle riding character from The Walking Dead. Not only is he the perfect choice for this character, but he himself has said he'd love to do it. Marvel, make it happen. 5. Alexandra D'Addario as the Black Cat With the upcoming Sony Marvel film Silver and Black set to star Silver Sable and Black Cat, that got me wondering just who could fill the role of Felicia Hardy, and I instantly thought of Alexandra D'Addario. I don't know exactly what it is about her, but I think she has the perfect look for the role, and I think she'd do a great job. Picturing her with white hair is a bit difficult, but another option perhaps is Jessica Drew, aka Spider-Woman, who's also rumored to be in the movie. However, at the end of the day, I think she'd be pretty much perfect in the role of Black Cat. 4. Rami Malek as Moon Knight I've never seen Mr. Robot. I really, really want to, as I've heard it's extremely good, but from what I've heard, it sounds like a show that makes you question what's real and what isn't. Which is exactly what you'd expect from a Moon Knight Netflix series. With Mark Spector's multiple personalities, it'd be really neat to have a series where we never quite know what's real and what isn't. Or if we can even trust our main hero. And who better to fill that role than Mr. Robot's lead, Rami Malek. From what I've heard, he gives a great performance in that, and on top of that, he's actually Egyptian, which would work really well with Moon Knight's many ties to Egyptian mythology. 3. Alexander Skarsgård as Adam Warlock In one of the post credit scenes of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, it was revealed that Adam Warlock will be coming to the MCU in Volume 3, where he will be created by Aisha, to destroy the Guardians. So who should play him? Well, I would personally love to see Alexander Skarsgård step into the role. He's really got the perfect look for it, and I've heard he's a fan favorite for the role. On top of that, his father, Stellan Skarsgård, has actually been in the MCU for years, as Eric Selvig. 2. Brian Cranston as Mr. Sinister Brian Cranston has repeatedly expressed interest in playing a Marvel villain, with him specifically mentioning the villain Mr. Sinister, an iconic enemy of the X-Men. Personally, I think he's the perfect choice for the role. I think here he could be a different type of villain for the X-Men, not necessarily a physical one, but still a formidable foe. I could really see Cranston in this role. I think he'd nail both the menacing and emotional parts of the character. Plus, it'd be cool to see a villain other than Magneto or Dark Phoenix, right? 1. Matthew McConaughey as Norman Osborn 
So far, we've had two people in the role of Norman Osborn, Willem Dafoe and Chris Cooper. And while it's not likely Osborn will be showing up in the MCU anytime soon, when he does, there's one person I'd like to see play him, Matthew McConaughey. If Osborn comes to the MCU, it's likely we'd see a different version of him. Perhaps he'd be more like he was during the Dark Reign and Siege events of the comics. I really think McConaughey would do very well here. He's already been asked by Marvel to play Ego in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which he ultimately turned down. But those are six dream castings for Marvel characters. What do you guys think? Do you agree with my list, and are there any more Marvel castings you guys would like to see happen? Let me know all your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah, they say the way I act is immature Well don't be mad at me because you're feeling insecure The only golf I ever tried to play was miniature And when you asked me sign your boots, a smiley face my signature But my parents raised me right, they were sticklers And we don't even fight, we're like oil and some vinegar